We have a really exciting space here. We're on two different levels or two different floors. The space you're seeing here is our technical floor. Um, but as a student, you will have an opportunity to really be in all areas of our 26,000 square feet of simulation space. Our center is literally steps away from our classrooms. Um, and in fact, some of the learning and teaching, if you will, occurs right here. Uh, so it's not only convenient, it's accessible, and it's a very welcoming uh, environment. We, as we say, at Ohio State, we innovate. Um, and so we are creative. We look to students to uh, bring a lot of ideas forward, and we love to hear those and implement them when we can. Some of the time the students want to know, like, when do I actually get to come here and, and use the space? And the answer is um, early and often. Uh, so very early on in the first year, you'll be working within the technical space, but also working with our standardized patients. So these are, if you will, actors who portray patients uh, so that our students can you know, learn the, the skills of interacting with patients in a very low stress environment. For those of you who are kinesthetic learners, for those of you who are visual learners, this is your space. Um, you will have the chance to see things, to experience things, to really like get your hands on things and learn in that way. Uh, I think it's important for medical students to get early exposure to uh, physician, not only anesthesiologists, but physicians across the spectrum of specialties and see how the concepts that they're learning actually relate to patient care in real life. The physiology labs we do for the Med 1 students, the first year they're here in medical school, they're doing a lot of classroom work at that point and we bring them into the simulation lab to learn how the things they're learning in their classes translate clinically. Um, students get to interact with the simulators, do procedures, and ask us questions about um, things that we're doing with their clinical um, experience on that simulator. For our pulmonary physiology lab, the students actually first encounter our patient as a trauma patient out in our hallway after a bike accident. And we first ask them to evaluate the patient's pulmonary function just by observing them, just using their senses. So how do they look? Uh, listening to the patient using a stethoscope and actually putting their hands on the patient, feeling chest rise and chest fall. Then we follow the patient into the simulated trauma bay where they will apply monitors on the patient, interpret those monitors, and based on what they see, actually order tests and perform procedures. So for example, while a first year medical student likely, likely would not perform an intubation, we actually walk our first year students through an intubation, which is a pretty advanced procedure, and they get to see you know, what is involved in the care for a patient and how these principles that they're learning in the classroom really apply to real life. We exist for learners. Uh, our whole point is actually to have an open environment, a low stake environment, so nobody is harmed in the Sim Center. Um, we have mannequins, we have task trainers, and we really want students to avail themselves of the resources. So we have student interest groups, for example, that um, develop sessions, uh, creative sessions, to teach skills to students. We have students that come up for independent practice. Uh, so they may have a, you know, you may have a, an interest in surgery or an interest in endoscopy and GI, but not really know what it would be like. We have an endoscopy simulator. You could schedule some time, come up and practice with that to see if it's something that, you know, really is what you think it is in terms of your career mapping and career planning and just exploration of what you might want to do in medicine. Part of the career exploration experience is that we help you decide what specialty you're interested in, what you might want to go into after medical school. So that's why we do these experiences so that you can practice procedures that you might do in anesthesiology um, and then other specialties also let you experience things that you would do in that specialty if you chose it as a profession. Uh, we have really everything you can imagine in terms of learning some of the basic skills so that when you're in the clinical environment these are familiar skills. Sometimes it's really basic like learning how to take a blood pressure properly um, or learning how to examine a heart. We have a Harvey simulator. Um, other times it's a lot more sophisticated uh, types of skills. We absolutely encourage students to uh, come and use the center to its full capacity and use it in creative ways.